Hello, my lovelies. And you join me here in Brian Johnston on Monday, Halloween. And this is going to be the first episode of Boaties Stations, where I go and look at some interesting railway stations that appeal to me for one reason or another. And I think I've found a rather good one for the first. Indeed, some might say it's perfect. Not the worst view in the world, is it, my loves? So yeah, there's a tramway up and down this hill. And yes, those are real tuk-tuks. You should be able to see Ryber Castle up there on top of the hill. And obviously, as you can see, this road wasn't designed for a lot of through traffic. Um, just going to pull in here for a quick second. And here we are. This, my loves, is... Channel's not any good, but he's a nice guy. I'm sorry, Mr. Bolton. Sorry about that. And here we are looking across to Matlock Bath. And just over here, let's see if I can zoom in for you. See the cable cars going up the height of Abraham. You can just see the top up there. Okay, here we go again. And once again, oh, that bloody noise. I was trying to accelerate away using the intrusion from the wheel arch rather than the actual accelerator pedal. People really do drive far, far too quickly on this road. Now there's a weird house somewhere along here. And it's all kind of sideways. You can't really tell from this camera angle. And here we go, dropping down to the bottom. And then we are literally just a uh, hop, skip and a jump away. Well, I say literally. It'd have to be a big hop, skip and a jump, but the station is just around the corner. How many of you have figured out by now where I'm going? Well, quite a few, I'm sure. Now, this road closed further on when I was living in Matlock Bath. It basically fell off itself, subsided. And judging from the signs, oh, yeah, still closed. And here we are. This, my loves, is Cromford Station.
Okay, so this is Crumford Station on the Derwent Valley Line. Uh, a very historical line. It used to be a double line and it was built sometime, oh God, 1800 and something. The original station building over there is now a grade two listed building and currently offered as a holiday let. The buildings on the left here, the waiting rooms and so on, were added sometime later, I think in the 1900s, and I believe are currently used as office spaces. The original double line is now just a single line. Willersley Tunnel is immediately to the north of the station. It's a bit creepy. The Derwent Valley Line is uh, an absolutely gorgeous line, which uh, runs along the main line from Derby and then branches off at Ambergate to this section of the line which runs through onto the next station is Matlock Bath and then the line terminates at Matlock. Uh, although it didn't used to, it used to run right on through on a stunning, stunning line all the way through to Buxton. But of course that has long gone. Peak Rail runs a heritage line from Matlock down to Rosley and the route from Bakewell uh, to Millersdale is now the Monsell Trail, uh, an amazing uh, walkway and cycleway going over the Monsell Viaduct and through the tunnels and an absolute must do when you visit the Peak District. But of course the station has a claim to fame above and beyond all that. The view over there may possibly be familiar to music fans from the 1990s because the view over there is where the photo shoot was done for the sleeve to the Oasis single Some Might Say which was their first UK number one hit record. The artwork was intended to represent the lyrics of the song and was actually created before the song was re uh, recorded, which is really quite unusual. The whole team, including the band members and the Gallagher brothers, rocked up in a, a Ford Transit, an old one, and a knackered old Peugeot 205, and they stayed the night before in Matlock Bath, in a hotel in Matlock Bath, where there was some not inconsiderable drunkenness. The next morning they rocked up here, entirely unauthorised and uninvited, to carry out what was a rather bizarre photo shoot. Part of the photo shoot was the father of the owner of the, um, the company creating the artwork, uh, carrying a wheelbarrow or wheeling a wheelbarrow made of a kitchen sink that was full of fish. Now, you may not be aware of this, but Matlock Bath is not particularly near the sea. In fact, it's as far away from the sea as you can possibly get. So their first job of the morning was quite a tricky one to get a sink full of fresh fish. So they had to hightail it over to Bakewell to the nearest fishmonger to get the fish uh, and to bring them back. Again, entirely without authorization, they brought, uh, one of them had done a a recce and they'd measured the windows over there and they brought cardboard cutouts to fit over the windows which featured parts of uh, photographs a part of uh, Noel's guitar and they were fitted over the windows if you look carefully at the uh, at the artwork you'll see those and then Liam was up on the bridge Noel was down on the platform but the the, the thing is They'd been looking for a disused railway station um, to bring the lyrics of this song to life. 
But all of the disused stations they found were very obviously disused stations. Um, and you couldn't get away with, um, with anybody thinking that there were a station where they could get a train because they were obviously dilapidated. And somebody suggested Cromford to them. The reason being that half of this station is current and in use, uh, and that's the upline here and the up platform, whereas the other half is disused. The line has gone, it's no longer there, uh, and the building is, well, it's now a holiday let. So they're putting together this absolute bizarre photo shoot um, where, where you've got this chap with his sink full of fishes, you've got um, quite a well-known stunt dog, um, which I imagine was quite expensive. It appeared in a, some major Hollywood films, this Alsatian, and all he was basically doing was lying there. Although he did have a sniff at the fish for the... Uh, for the actual artwork that went up onto the vinyl record itself. Then you've got the barmaid from their local pub um, having water seemingly poured on her by Noel. Uh, and then you've got the art company's mother with a mop and bucket. I haven't got the picture in front of me, so I can't remember it exactly, but uh, I think those were the constituent parts. Um, but all of this is going on whilst this side of the station here is in full flow. So every hour there's, um, there's a train going up and then coming back down and there would have been people on the platform and I imagine they would have been wondering what the bloody hell was going on. But there you are, that's Cromford Station. Now I had half thought that I might actually jump on the train with you and head down to Matlock and Matlock Bath and have a look around those stations as well. Um, but I've just found out that uh, the trains are actually cancelled due to some issue at uh, Ambergate. So we will wrap this one up at that. But I hope you've enjoyed this little look around this charming, charming little railway station with an interesting connection to the pop and art world. There you go. We will come back here another day and I will take you on the train with me.